I decided to make a video about an urban legend. Well, it's not just any urban legend that I'm working on, but it's a legend that I'm researching for my school project. So, for this legend, I decided to talk about the Wendigo. If you don't know who the Wendigo is, well, before we get started, I'll encourage you to subscribe to this channel turn on the bell notifications and give this video a like all the way to the end and anyways let's get started with the legend so here we are in the discussion section so if you don't know who the wendigo is well i'm here to answer the question so the wendigo is an evil spirit known for its obsessive craving towards human flesh well, it's not just an intense screaming, but it's a cannibalistic evil spirit originating from Native American folklore. Well, it's not just Native American folklore, but it takes place in the United States and Canada. Well, primarily around the Great Lakes section. So, the Wendigo, it has so many nicknames, such as the Wendigo or the Wittigo, and some more. And besides, it's also known as the evil spirit that divorced mankind. Yeah, how intense. Well, and now let's move on to the next section that you need to know about this legend of the creature. Well, here we go where I'll talk to you more about this creature. So like being said, the Wendigo is an evil spirit known for its intense cravings for human flesh. Like being said, it's a cannibalistic spirit. And besides, I'll tell you that, like being said, it originates from the USA and Canada, typically around the Great Lakes. Speaking of the USA, it's known among Native American tribes such as the Inu people and some more, such as the Eastern Cree or something. Yeah. So now I'm going to tell you what it actually is. The Wendigo, it possesses human characteristics like, you know, being tall and stuff like that. Besides, it's also known for you know, um, uh, well, let me think of something. Aha! Uh -huh. So the Wendigo, it has like, you know, many variations, uh, depending on the Native American group. Like, in some versions, it is said that the Wendigo, it's based on people who are extremely greedy, gluttony, and besides, like being said, they express greed, gluttony, and some excess. And these people, they are condemned to be possessed to become Wendigos. So I'll tell you something. The Wendigo, what they eat, like being said, they eat human flesh because they're humans, cannibals. And speaking of cannibals, there is this psychosis called the Wendigo psychosis. If you don't know what it is, well, I'll explain you. While I was navigating to the internet, I came up with this website called Legends of America. It was interesting though, especially hearing about the Wendigo psychosis. I never heard of that before, so I typed more about it, so I got my answer. The Wendigo psychosis is a psychosis where a human starts to crave for human flesh, more like cannibalistic nature, but they fear of becoming cannibals themselves, and yet, that, that's the characteristic of a Wendigo. It tends to happen when they are extremely isolated from their group, even during the cold times of winter. So that's what I've seen. And besides, uh, these creatures, like being said, they're known for being cannibals and stuff like that. 
so it also depends when it comes to Native American versions of said legend. And here's what I find more interesting about the Wendigo. The appearance. It's like a mix between a human and some kind of animal versions. And it has like, you know, this bony appearance. So bony that it's making me um, sculpt a figurine about it in the future. So I could give it to my sociology teacher before I leave for graduation. Speaking of graduation, this video, it's made for school pro... Well, this video, it was made for a school project, like I said below. It's a school project that I'm working on, even though I had thoughts of working on the Krasu before. If you don't know who the Krasu is, well, I'll talk to you more about that in another video. If you wish, of course. Anyways, let's go to the pop culture section of the Wendigo. It has appeared, despite its scary um, characteristics, it has appeared in many pop culture such as the X-Men series episode Hulk vs. Wolverine. And it also has appeared in a book called The Curse of the Wendigo. And I'll leave you and I'll mention in the description down below who wrote it. And besides, there's also a movie based on the Wendigo. It's called Antlers. Speaking of Antlers, I'll be I'll talk to you about my honest thoughts of Antlers. It's an another video based on this video, of course, despite being uh, made for school project purposes. Okay, so, and does this offer a moral of the story? Yes, it does. And the moral of the story for this legend, it said that you should never be extremely greedy nor express gluttony because, you know, both of these are bad. It's bad to be greedy because, uh, it doesn't like you know allow you to uh let some people borrow money well there is a difference between be careful about who you let to borrow and another thing is just being greedy because you know it's mine i'm not giving you anything at all and for gluttony it's because um uh, it tends to associate with excessive eating and stuff like that speaking of eating i could talk more about these two in another video if you wish and besides, it tells you that you should never be completely alone. You should never, ever, 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 ever uh, be so isolated, especially during the cold times of winter. Not even when you claim that you already ate, when you should have enough food. This is a moral lesson, please, please, please. Okay, so that's it. And yes, I'm trying to make videos as long as possible, but I promise I'll make it very long, especially when it comes to the crash soul. Like I said, I will make it as long as you wish. Um, I'm here to give a shout out to my sociology teacher, Miss Sabino. And yeah, I decided to make this video for a school project, like I said. Well, thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notifications and give it a like. And if you wish, you, you have the free will for sharing this video. Like Vin said, you can share it if you like to your friends. So, you know, I could reach my channel more. More like grow it. And here's a little story that I'm gonna tell. Let's say that you're walking alone in a very dark forest. It's very cold, yes, because it's a very freezing night at the forest. So you encounter this creature, which is as tall as a tree, according to some Native American versions. And if you wonder what you can do, well, here's the way. You either kill it or you have to starve it to death. So that's a method. 
and please I advise you to never go alone to the forest at night because if you do the Wendigo will get you and you'll be eaten alive so thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one